Hey guys, in this video we're going to be talking about how to compare central inverter versus string one. Um, the best judge is cost. This is why we're going to do comparison through cost. Uh, as a starting point, we will need any boundary and substation in the project, and we will start with creating a one block of a central inverter scheme. We don't we don't need to be worried about where this block will be located. We can I mean we can define a specific place. Or we can bring this block from somewhere, but for the sake of this exercise, we'll just generate it randomly in random place in this particular boundary. Okay, so central inverter is being selected here. This is our scheme, um, harness combiner scheme. So we we need to be careful what we select here. So let's say now I'm going with 400 amps combiner box, and then I'm selecting SunGrow central inverter. 3600s and basically the same transformer. Okay, I define my DCAC ratio and then I select a bunch of different trackers. Um, and here I will just set one block. Okay, so I'll generate layout. After we generate layout, we will have one block somewhere allocated within our boundary. Okay, like this. So from that point, we don't actually need boundary anymore. So I'll hide it. Okay, so we have a block which contains a bunch of trackers, uh, central inverter, uh, transformer, and then combiner boxes. Um, as you all are aware, uh, we can go closer, select any combiner, and we will see which trackers um, connected to this combiner box, okay? So in order to compare actual central inverter to string inverter, let's say on the same block, meaning on the same um, combination of different trackers, uh, we basically will need to run wiring because this is the um, huge aspect where we will see the difference, right? So the, first of all, we will see the difference in the inverter cost. So for the central scheme, we will see just one big cost for the central inverter and then cost of combiners. And for the string inverter scheme, we will basically see cost for the string inverter, AC combiners, and it's going to be a little bit different, but uh, the difference will be also in the in the wiring, okay? So let's let's go here to the low voltage and we will choose the same uh, scheme here, harness combiner. Um, let's say any characteristics or any parameters we want to use here and then we'll just generate wiring. So now we have block, um, array of trackers, we have inverter, transformer, combiners and we have the proper wiring for this block, right? So now is a perfect moment where we can go to the cost and where we can select as I said before, we will be interested specifically in PCS. So we go first to PCS and we just want to make sure that we have the right rates here. So I assume that you have Excel spreadsheet uh, from which you can pull the right rates here. But let's say for this particular scheme, uh, we will use this default rate for the central inverter. As you can see here, transformer cost is zero is because they both um, go as a skid, meaning that this, this is a kind of total cost. If you have a separate cost, um, put them here, and then you will see the total uh, cost for the PCS, right? The same we need to do for electrical. So we go to electrical scheme. Um, here's the place where we'll need to pull our rates. And basically, again, assumption is that you have an Excel spreadsheet or cost database somewhere, and you basically insert your rates in here, right? So if you want to update some rate, you just update it here and the cost is recalculated. So you see electrical cost here. So you can always save all the overrides you do, meaning that those overrides will be um, uh, saved for the whole project. Um, um, and it, it basically they will uh, fetch after any update you will do in this specific project, okay? So look, we have electrical and PCS cost. Um, we have those costs and the best place to see those just to kind of total numbers is in our metrics, okay? So here I will go to the cost and I will go to the construction cost breakdown. As you can see here, uh, in other cost uh, sections, uh, I put rates zeros. This is why we 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 don't have a, a racking cost, a civil cost, a PV modules cost, because this is not important for the sake of this comparison. Because um, if we were gonna uh, compare the same block, the same trackers, um, those costs will be literally the same. So the difference will be here. So we have PCS 140K and then we have electrical cost 190K. Okay. So this is the version we want to save. 
So basically, I'm I'm saving this version, and then um, I just basically need to add this version to comparison. So first of all, I'll make sure that I don't have any comparison in my comparison tab. And then I'll just go and add this to comparison. After this, my comparison tab will have an information about this cost we just saw here. So we'll see electrical and PCS cost in here. And as we will go now and um, update our um, electrical scheme for the string inverter, we will actually do the same, save it here, and we will compare. OK, let's see what we can do here. So I'm going to layout. And because I want to keep the same block, I'll go to augment, OK? In the block equipment in here, let's say I will choose my um, uh, send string inverter combiner harness architecture. I will need to readjust my NEC multiplier. So for the string inverter scheme, it's 1.1 approximately. Um, consult with your electrical engineers about this number. So then I will need to pick a um, AC combiner box. So let's say I will pick a 800 amps AC combiner bo block, uh, bo uh, box, right? And so then I will need to update my inverter. So I'll use uh, SunGrow 350. Uh, and I think I'm going to use, um, yeah. Um, uh, let me just check SG350. So I'll use this one, one mod. And so I'll press OK here. As you can see, we will not do any reblocking, so transformer will stay the same. We'll just augment our equipment. So, and let's see what's going to change. So, after we augmented our equipment, I would actually recommend also to make sure that offsets are correct. Okay. In the in a string inverter scheme, I would actually make inverter offset a bit bigger. Let's say 27 feet from the center of the rod, and then combine a box offset. 20 feet. I want uh, combiners and transformers to be on the same line and then inverters to be closer to the array. Okay, so I'll press OK and I'll augment the equipment one more time. So let's, re let's see what we got here. So first of all, we start seeing um, some string inverters, right? So we can click on them. And also we can see uh, AC combiners. If I select this specific AC combiner, we can see that it connects two string inverters. So the way to control it is in here. So you can you can choose basically how how many how many uh, let's say if, if you if you were to generate a new block, and let's say if you were to generate it from from scratch, you would be able to control how many inverters connect to uh, AC combiner block box. But in this particular situation, uh, it's done automatically by PV Farm based on the amperage calculations. So now we got a little bit different scheme. We can you can see we have a bunch of uh, AC combiners and then central uh, string inverters connected to them. I'll just show you how it looks like in hierarchy, so you will have a better understanding. You see we have transformer, then combiner box, then inverter one, then inverter two, then inverter three. Right. So we can select the whole circuit of the combiner box. So we will see that this is different scheme. Okay. Now we need to update our wiring. So I'll go to our low voltage wiring. We'll change it to central inverter, harness combiner architecture, and I will update the wiring. So if I'll go get closer, you will see that wiring is different now. You can clearly see how those connected to combiners and then the um, AC feeder goes all the way to actual transformer. Okay. So let's see the cost we got. So I'll go, I'll go to the cost. Now I'll start with PCS. Same story. So with the PCS, um, we need, again, we need to make sure that all the rates are here. So we have the cost of the string inverter, but let's say we also need to put a cost of the independent sun growth transformer. And again, assumption is that you will fetch it from somewhere from your cost database, but basically I'll put 75,000 and I will save this overwrite, okay? So uh, in this particular situation, we got the cost, total cost of PCS, and we need to do the same for electrical cost. I go to electrical cost, and I'll just need to make sure that I have all necessary rates. Um, again, I don't, I'm not sure about rate of 600 kC mil, and it's a, it's a whole different story. If you want to change this cable, you can also change it when you generate your um, 
wiring but let's say i'll put 5.1 uh, or 5.1 dollars per feet so my cost is calculated then i will need to go and to check that i have cost for the rest so let's say for the six as well i will put 1.1 dollars and then for the number four i'll put 0.9 just just an example um assuming that you have this database you can actually um, place those rates and then save them in your cost so now we have electrical cost, total cost, as well as PCS cost. So we can close it. We can save this project. While it's saving, we can open the metrics. Um, and in those metrics, we will be able to see uh, the actual PCS and electrical cost, okay? So I'll do the same. I will add it to comparison. And after that, I will open comparison. As you can see, we have the, the version we saved before central inverter and we have the cost pcs and electrical 140k 190k and the total cost 330k and then the same we have for the stream inverter 190 to 38 for example and then 428 total cost so we can press on this and we can see that our central inverter, our string inverter in this particular case is more expensive, 25% more expensive from electrical standpoint and 35% more expensive from a um, PCS standpoint. And you can see here that the total cost is a 20, um, basically 30% more expensive for the string inverter. But I want to emphasize that this is for this specific block with this wiring that was defined automatically by Phoebe Farm. So if you had a, uh, some controls of the wiring, the situation might change. And also if you will have like a big project with a bunch of um, boundaries and islands and all this stuff, so the situation will change as well. So um, uh, this is why this experiment is just to explain the basics, how to compare central inverter versus string one. But um, in each particular project, it's going to be a different situation. This is why it's uh, it's actually worth uh, checking on the global project. That this, but but basically, this is the concept how to do that. Thanks for your attention. I hope it was useful. Bye bye.